Our work at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation, or CSIRO, in Australia focuses on developing tools for human pluripotent stem cell researchers and ultimately developing tools that a, a future human pluripotent stem cell based industry would need. So we've made four new monoclonal antibodies to four proteins that we predicted would be on the cell surface of firstly human embryonic stem cells. And these four proteins are desmoglin 2 or DSG2, peak adherent, CD318 and CD321. We made these antibodies by using a facility, a high throughput monoclonal antibody facility at Monash University in Australia and we were able to screen at the hybridoma stage for antibodies that bound to antigen on live human pluripotent stem cells. So this, this gave us a, a real advantage over some of the other monoclonal antibodies available for characterizing and detecting human pluripotent stem cells. What makes these antibodies unique is that up until now, people haven't used these proteins as markers for human pluripotent stem cells. These proteins that the antibodies detect are on the cell surface of human pluripotent stem cells and therefore we can use flow cytometry or other immunomagnetic methods to separate different cell populations from each other. These antibodies are of the IgG subclass which makes them easier to handle and give less background. We know the gene that encodes the protein that these antibodies detect which makes them a really quite useful tool for exploring human pluripotency. Interestingly, they're also the antigens that the antibodies detect are re-expressed in some breast cells and also in some normal and tumorigenic colon cells. So may potentially in the future be useful as biomarkers for cancer research. So these clones were recently published um, um, by an international group, including my team at the CSIRO in Australia, researchers at the Scripps Research Institute, uh, researchers at UCLA and researchers at Monash University in Australia. The description of how we designed, made and characterised these antibodies is in the March 2017 edition of the Stem Cells Journal. The researchers would use these antibodies to determine whether the populations of cells that they're working with are pluripotent and more specifically to tell what percentage of the cells are pluripotent within their population of cells. Now these pluripotent cells could be human-induced pluripotent stem cells or iPS cells or human embryonic stem cells. A researcher would also use these to potentially look for differences between naive and primed human pluripotent stem cells. And also finally, a researcher might be interested in, in using these antibodies to look for the antigens if they were re-expressed in different forms of cancer cells. These cells are able to be isolated and sorted using flow cytometry using these monoclonal antibodies and we've shown that you can uh, reculture the cells after sorting using these antibodies. These antibodies are available from Thermo Fisher Scientific in different sizes and conjugated to different fluorochromes as well as in an unconjugated form. They're available conjugated to PE, APC, Alexaflor 488 and Alexaflor 647.